all welcome back to Pabli and let me show you a magic first so let's say I'm going to go to its this extensions Pabli connect web books and click on this button which says send all data and once I'm going to click on this button which says send all data an automated whatsapp message will be sent towards all the customers which I have in this spreadsheet all right so let's open the whatsapp and check for the whatsapp messages sent to all these customers let's open my whatsapp and as you can see yes a whatsapp message has been sent to all the customers i'm going to show you all the names too you're going to see that this is the first name the next the third and as you can see a whatsapp message is sent to all the customers which i had in my spreadsheet so yes this is the magic we are going to create in today's video that we can send festive wishes to all the customers in two clicks only and if you also want to create this amazing magic for your own business then for that you have to stick to this video till the end so let's begin this without wasting any time let's open a new tab and search for the landing page of Pabli connect by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser and now it is opening the landing page of Pabli connect and Pabli connect is the tool using which we're going to create this automation or you can say magic but before we move on further and create this automation I'll just show you something really helpful this is the Pabli community where automation users, business owners and marketers connect. Pabli community is a space where users share their ideas, workflow tips, doubts and solutions. So if you're stuck at any step, the community is a great resource for guidance because we have experts in this and they are ready to help you anytime you need. And if you also want to join this amazing community, the link is given in the description box below. Make sure to check it out. Let's move on further and create this automation. For that, we have two options on the landing page of Pabli. Connect. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can simply click on this sign up for free and you're going to get 100 of tasks free every month to explore Pabli Connect. But over here, I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on this button which says sign in. And once we click on this sign in, it is opening all Pabli apps and over you're going to see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications so i'm going to click on this access now right over here to access my pabli connects account and now it is opening the dashboard of my pabli connects account and to get started what i'm going to do is i am going to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me to select the workflow builder so we have two options the new one or the classic one so the new workflow builder is faster flexible and ideal for those who want a modern interface while the classic one on the other hand is stable has a familiar approach and ideal for those who want to try it and test it setup so you can use any one from this i am going to use this new one so let's go towards the select of the new one now i'm going to enter the name of my workflow which is send bulk whatsapp messages from Google Sheets. Yes, within few clicks, we are going to send bulk WhatsApp messages from this spreadsheet like I showed you right now. Alright, and now for the folder, let's select the folder in which I want to save my workflow. On my dashboard, you can see multiple folders which I have already created in which I save my workflows. And if you also want to create a new folder, you can go to its this create new folder button and create your own. So I'm going to save my workflow in one of these only and click on this button which says create. And once we click on this create it is going to open the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have trigger and action in this trigger and actions are the two main principles on which our workflow is going to run trigger means when this happens and action means do this so by this you can understand that the trigger starts the process and the actions are results towards the same so like i showed you in the starting of this video google sheets will be our trigger because whenever we are going to add the new customer data over here or whenever I'm just going to go towards this extensions and public connect web books and then this send all data automatically and whatsapp message will be sent towards all the customers in that list so yes google sheets will be our trigger because it is going to start the process and whatsapp will be our action because we're going to send an automated whatsapp message so let's move on further and first select our trigger so let's click on this add trigger button and now for the trigger application I'm going to to search for google sheets and select it for the trigger event you have to select new or updated spreadsheet row and click on this connect now it has given me a web url using which we're going to create a connection between google sheets and public connect what we have to do is 
we simply have to copy this webhook URL, then open our Google Sheets for which we want to create this automation. So as you can see that this is the spreadsheet for which I want to create this automation and over here I have the data of all my customers. So right now I have the data of only 14 or 15 customers but this is going to work for hundreds of customers too within two seconds and within two clicks you can send a whatsapp message to 100 customers at once let's move on further and see how we can do this so for that we have to go towards this extensions add-ons and then towards this get add-ons and we have to add an extension in this spreadsheet which is pably connect webhooks so let's search for pably connect webhooks in the search apps and as you can see the same so we're simply going to open it and as you can see that i have already installed this extension but if you haven't installed this you can simply install this extension right over here and after installing this extension you have to refresh your spreadsheet it is really important to refresh your spreadsheet otherwise you will not be getting the option of Pabli connect webhooks in this extensions tab and after getting the option of Pabli connect webhooks you simply have to go towards this Pabli connect webhooks and then towards initial setup it is really easy you just have to follow me step by step let's open our workflow and you're going to see that this is the webhook url so we have to copy this and then we have to head back towards our spreadsheet it is asking me for the webhook URL and the trigger column. So let's paste the URL which we copied from the workflow and now for the trigger column we have to enter the trigger column. So the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent towards your webhook URL. So for me the trigger column is D for you it can be anything else too. Like I want to send these four details towards my workflow so for me the trigger column is D but if you want to send three details like only first name last name and email then your trigger column will be C if you want to send four details like first name last name email and phone number then the trigger column is D all right so this trigger column will be according to your own spreadsheet keep this in mind all right after entering this web URL and trigger column simply click on this button which says submit and once we click on this submit it is saying setup configured successfully and with this we have successfully created a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli connect so easy right but now it is saying waiting for web response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission or record in order to capture this webhook response so what we have to do is let's go back towards spreadsheet and you're going to see the button of send test so simply click on this button which says send test and once we click on this send test it is saying test data sent successfully all right so let's open our workflow and over here Pabli is going to capture the response of the test data so we have to wait for a few seconds and you're going to see that Pabli has successfully captured the response of the test data you're going to see that we have all the details of our customer first name last name phone number and email and this is the first row of our spreadsheet so yes you're going to see that with this we have successfully completed our trigger step but this was not it what you have to do is you have to open your spreadsheet go to its this extensions public connect web books and you have to keep in mind that this button which is sent on event should always be switched on because what is going to happen is that whenever a new event is going to occur in your spreadsheet automatically the data is going to be sent towards your workflow further in this video i'll show you the proper demonstration of this send on event too you simply have to click on this send on event button and it will be switched on all right let's move on further and let's add our action step so we simply have to click on this add new action step and now for the action application i am going to use whatsapp cloud api because in order to send automated whatsapp messages today i am going to use whatsapp cloud api you can use any another application too like AI Sensei, Vati or Pabli Chart Flow. Pabli supports them all. What you have to do is you simply have to search for WhatsApp Cloud API and as you're going to see the same, so I'm going to select it. For the action event, I'm going to select it as send template message new and click on this connect. Once we click on this connect, it is saying add a new connection or select an existing connection. So if you have already created a connection between WhatsApp Cloud API and Pabli Connect, you can go to Word select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token the phone number id and the whatsapp business account id and you must be wondering from where we're going to get this so in order to get this you first have to create an api setup in meta for developers and how are you going to create this api setup i'll just let you know go to it's this learn more hyperlink over here and once we click on this learn more it is going to open the forum window of Pabli. 
and you have to scroll and over here we have two videos one video will focus on how to create a whatsapp cloud api setup so you can refer to this video and create your whatsapp cloud api setup and further if you want to generate a permanent token inside whatsapp cloud api you can refer to this video step by step and in very detail we have explained both of this you can check out this video and create your own whatsapp cloud api setup i have already created my whatsapp cloud api setup so i'm going to go towards my api setup and copy this access token phone number id and the whatsapp business account id and paste it over here in my workflow one by one i'm going to paste it all over here and click on this button which says save and once we click on this save with this we have successfully created a connection between whatsapp cloud api and Pabli connect it is asking me for the receiver's phone number so yes we have received the receiver's phone number which is our customer's phone number so let's enter it but we are not going to enter it manually by tapping it like this but instead we're going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by Pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and when we insert the data from the previous step automatically our data becomes dynamic and change with every new response received all right so let's enter and map this number now we're going to move on further it is asking me for the template id so to let you know about this i'm going to go back towards my api setup and we're going to see it is saying create your own template so let's click on this hyperlink over here and once we click on this hyperlink it is opening whatsapp manager and we're going to see all the templates which i have already created all right if you want to create a new template you can go towards this create template buttons what you have to do is you simply have to select the template over here then you have to enter the details of your template and create your own template make sure to add variables template name language and much more and create this template i have already created multiple templates so i'm going to go back and i'm going to create this automation using one of these templates only which is this festive offers as you can see that this is my template and using this template i'm going to create this automation so let's select the same template name i'm going to go back towards my workflow for the template id i'm going to select it as festive offers now it is asking me for the language code and how are you going to get this language code open your template and over here going to see the language code you simply have to go towards this edit template and as you can see that the my template language is english so for the language code of english i'm going to enter e n over here now let's move on further it is saying selected template name which is festive offers i'm going to select the same and move on further it is saying template has header so as you can see that my template doesn't have any header so i'm going to keep it as no it is saying enable the map button and leave this field as blank if we don't have the header type all right so i'm going to simply enable this mapping button and leave this field as blank so we are only going to enter the details which are required like this template has a body so yes you're going to see that my template has a body so let's click on this yes and move on further it is saying variable one example name so you must be wondering what is this variable one so i'm going to open my template and you're going to see that in this template i have this one in curly brackets so you must be wondering why this one is in curly brackets because i want to replace this one with the name of my customer every time i send an automated whatsapp message so you're going to see that in all of these messages each message is same only the name of the customer is getting changed right so that's the reason i kept this one as a variable to send automated and personalized whatsapp messages to all my customers so what we have to do is we simply have to map this value of one over here in this variable one so let's map the name of our customer we're going to map the first name put a space and then the last name let's move on further it is saying template has buttons no and the rest of the details are not required so let's click on this save and send test request but before we click on this save and send test request i'll just replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show the message and the response received you don't have to replace this because you are going to use live customer details right i am using test customer details that's the reason that i am replacing it so let's replace it over here and as you can see that i've successfully replaced it and now i'm going to click on this save and send test request and once we click on this save and send test request yes you're going to see that we have received the positive response that we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message all right let's open our whatsapp and you're going to see yes we have received a new message right now you're going to see that this is the name with the help of which we have received this message all right so with this we have successfully completed this workflow but now let's test this in real time once again 
So to do this, let's open our spreadsheet, go to its this extensions, Pabli Connect Web Books and click on this send all data. And once we click on this send all data automatically, an automated WhatsApp message will be sent to all the customers in this list. So yes, it was saying working. Now it has completed the working and it has successfully sent all of these data towards my workflow. Pabli has further sent an automated WhatsApp messages to all of my customer. All right, so let's open our WhatsApp and you're going to see that an automated WhatsApp message is sent to all my customer one by one. You're going to see the messages are getting sent one by one. So yes, with this we have successfully completed our workflow. But not only this, let's say I'm going to go back towards my details which is my spreadsheet and I'm going to add the new customer details. Let's say for the first name, keep it as demo last name as user, email as demo at the rate publitudes.com. Now I'm going to enter the phone number too. And you're going to see that I've successfully entered all the details and now what is going to happen is an automated whatsapp message will be sent to demo user too all right let's open our whatsapp and now i'm going to wait for a few seconds till an automated whatsapp message is received yes you're going to see an automated whatsapp message is sent to demo user too how because we switched on this button which is send on event i told you i'm just going to give a demonstration and as you can see when we switch on this button what is going to happen is that not only to the existing customers but if we also add some new customers an automated whatsapp message will be sent towards them too so yes with this we have successfully completed our video and this workflow too and now go try this amazing automation for your own business too because right now we are offering a free trial of Pabli connect go send festive wishes to all your customers because now you can send bulk whatsapp messages within few clicks go and try this amazing automation for your own business and i'm just going to simply attach this workflow link in the description box below you can check out my workflow and create this for your own company see you in the next video with many more automation tips everyone thank you for watching